Hey friends, my name is Cassidy or Magical Martini. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a quick recap of our recent family vacation to Florida along with my small-ish Walt Disney World haul. Um, I definitely thought I was going to buy more on this trip, but there just wasn't a lot of time for shopping. But I did get some stuff and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Um, not gonna lie, it's mostly pins. Surprise, surprise. Um, but I did just want to tell you guys a little bit about the trip itself. So my boyfriend Kyle and I went to Florida the end of June, beginning of July for a family wedding on his side. So his aunt Kimmy um, works for Disney and her oldest son, Tom is the one that was getting married. So they flew us out there and honestly we are so lucky because anytime we go out there it's just so magical. We get to do so many incredible things and um, I'm fully aware of how lucky we are. I am by no means trying to brag. I don't know how I got this lucky but um, I'm extremely grateful for it. Um, so the first day we just got to see our family who some of them we haven't seen anywhere from three to seven years. So it was like a reunion and it was really incredible and um, cause that whole side of the family lives either in Illinois or Florida. So we don't get to see them that often, especially like with the pandemic. So um, the last time we saw the majority of the family was in 2019. So um just grateful that we even got to go <laughs> um so the first day like i said was hanging out with the family the first full day that we were there aunt kimmy set up a vip tour at the parks for kyle myself and then our aunt and uncle steve and Lori, and our aunt and uncle bonita and bill and we were escorted by chris the most amazing Walt Disney World tour guide that there is. <laughs> and if you um, don't know anything about the VIP tours, you basically have an escort to take you to whichever parks you want to go to and whatever rides you want to go to. You get to do lightning lanes without any specific time frames. Um, they help with food and just, they're just amazing. And um, it just really makes the most of the time you have and they're usually around like seven ish hours so um it was up to us what parks we wanted to go to what we wanted to do um i opted out of going to magic kingdom just because i used to have a pass to disneyland i grew up in southern california if you didn't know so i've been to disneyland a lot and i just feel like magic kingdom is so much like disneyland that i wanted to do as much of the stuff that is like unique to Disney World um, just because we don't get there as often. So our first stop was Epcot and the very first ride that we went on was Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind and it was incredible. Like it was so intense but really really fun and I got to sit in the front seat um, so that was a blast followed by Soaring Over the World, which I've done at California Adventure, but I had never done, never done at Walt Disney World. And our family really liked, uh, that we were with really likes that ride. So we went on that. Then we park hopped over to Animal Kingdom, which is my absolute favorite park at Walt Disney World. I'm obsessed. And we started off in Pandora, which I just love that land so much. We went on Navi River Journey for my very first time um, and I loved it. I loved it so much. Oh, speaking of, I didn't vlog. Oh, there's Brutus. I didn't vlog on this trip just because we were with family. We really wanted to be in the moment and enjoy the, the time that we had because it was limited. Um, and yeah, just really enjoy it <laughs> um, without being like behind my camera the whole time. I did take a lot of pictures, which I have posted to my Instagram at Magical Martini if you'd like to check it out. But that is why I did not vlog. Honestly, I don't really like vlogging anyway. I'm not that good at it. Um, 
And so yeah, I'll leave that to the professionals and just post some pictures. Um, but so we went on Navi River Journey, then we went on Flight of Passage, which is my all time absolute favorite ride. I have officially said it, it used to be Tower of Terror, which Tower of Terror is a close second, but Flight of Passage is just, ooh, I love that ride so much. Okay, so we went on Flight of Passage, then we went over to Expedition Everest, and this is where we hit a little bit of a, a rough patch, you can say. Um, our Uncle Steve had a heat stroke. He got very sick after getting off of that ride. It was very intense. Um, Chris, our tour guide, had to call the paramedics. They came, they did an EKG, they did um, uh, blood pressure, all his workups, and everything was normal. Luckily, he was just feeling very ill. Um, so he rested in first aid for a while, and they urged us to go on with the last few hours of the tour. Um, so while they were getting rest, we park hopped over to uh, Hollywood Studios. I almost said Universal Studios. That's not right. Uh, we park hopped over to Hollywood Studios and um, went to Galaxy's Edge, which I have been to Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland, but didn't do any of the rides. This time I got to go on Rise of the Resistance for the first time. And let me tell you, I fangirled so hard when I saw BB-8 and Rey, because Rey is one of my absolute favorite characters. And that ride is just so immersive and so interactive and a little intimidating. I loved it. It was amazing. And then Kyle and I got to drive the freaking Millennium Falcon on Smuggler's Run. And that was so much fun. Then we tried Blue Milk for the first time and I did not realize that it's not milk. It's like a fruity drink. So if you thought the same thing I did, trust me, try it. It's so good. Um, the green milk was good too. Um, then we left, went and picked up Aunt Lori and Uncle Steve and had to rush back to the house, change for the rehearsal dinner that night because the wedding was the following day. So on June 30th, our cousin Tom married the sweetest, cutest, woman ever. Her name is Sophie. This is the first time that we've ever met her, but they actually met in like middle school. It's like a true love story. And they got married at the Grand Floridian at Walt Disney World. This was literally the most magical wedding I've ever been to in my whole entire life. The chapel itself has a center window that perfectly outlines the castle, Cinderella's castle at Magic Kingdom. And I just, all of the details, like in the bathroom, there was a Cinderella mirror, like uh, of the clock. I had so much fun taking selfies in there. Um, and they were playing Disney music. And then the reception was immediately after. Oh, I forgot to mention, they she came up in a uh, Cinderella's carriage. Sorry, I'm getting so excited and I don't want to leave anything out, but I'm also trying to do this quick, which I'm realizing isn't really working, but that's okay. Um, she came up in Cinderella's carriage and it was waiting out front when we were all leaving. So cool. And then the reception immediately followed in um, one of their banquet halls at the Grand Floridian. And let me just tell you, their first dance was one of the most like special moments because Uncle Bruce is in a pretty famous band and he played on the bass. And then his bandmate, Dave, played on the guitar and then our cousin Sarah who is the oldest daughter of Bruce and Kimmy I know this is kind of complicated it's fine you don't have to um really understand the whole family tree but anyway she's a singer and she has an incredible voice and so the three of them together did So This Is Love and A Dream Is A Wish Your Heart Makes from Cinderella for their first dance I'm gonna insert a little clip right here Wasn't that so magical? 
<sighs> anyway, um, so beautiful, beautiful wedding day. Um, I had so much fun dressing up. I really loved the dress that I found from Macy's. Got it on sale, kind of Cinderella vibes, very sparkly. I got a lot of compliments on it. And it was just fun to wear a dress because I'm not much of a dress girl. So um, that was Thursday and then Friday, Kyle and I actually got to go to the parks, just me and him. Aunt Kimmy gave us tickets so that we could go to any parks we wanted to. And we had like 16 lightning lane um, availabilities, which we didn't even get to use all of them. Um, but it was, it was so much fun to just hang out with Kyle. Like he's not big into the theme parks. He does get like a little motion sickness and he's not a fan of like the crowds and stuff. But, um, but still, you know, like, can't pass up free tickets to to Disney World. Uh, you know, like we realize how rare and incredible that is. So, but he did have a lot of fun. He actually didn't get us sick this time. So that was a good thing. Um, and we decided to go back to like our two favorite parks, which are Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom. So we did Tower of Terror because we didn't do that on the first day and like I said that's like my second favorite ride so we did Tower of Terror and then we went back to Galaxy's Edge rode Smuggler's Run and Rise of the Resistance another time and then um, got blue milk but with rum this time then it started raining which I loved because it wasn't as hot and then we moved over to Animal Kingdom did Kilimanjaro Safari which I, I just love that ride I love that you there are real animals at Animal Kingdom um, and then we did Expedition Everest again, and then we ate at my all-time favorite restaurant at Disney World, which is Yak and Yeti. It's amazing. I had the lobster noodles again. I've been dreaming about this meal for three years, and it did not disappoint. It was so, so good. Highly recommend it if you've never been there. I say that anytime I talk about Animal Kingdom, like, go to Yak and Yeti. Um, then we went back to Pandora and rode Flight of Passage, Navi River Journey, and then Flight of Passage again, because favorite. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much like a kind of quick summary of the trip. Um, the majority of the time we stayed in an Airbnb that Aunt Kimmy had um, reserved for us. We were with our Uncle Steve and Aunt Lori, and they had this really cute Minnie and Mickey room. And even though it had like two twin beds, I still wanted to stay in that room. Um, so that's where Kyle and I stayed the majority of the time. We did move to Aunt Kimmy and Uncle Bruce's house the last night. And um, yeah, had fun in the pool, spent a lot of time with family, ate a lot, drank a lot. It was a great trip. Um, so now let's finally get into the hall. Uh, Sorry that ended up being a much longer rant than I anticipated, but hopefully you enjoyed it. It was just such a good trip that I really wanted to share it with you guys since I didn't vlog while I was actually there. Um, okay, so let's get into three pins that Aunt Kimmy gifted me. Um, they are like gifts from the VIP tour. We didn't get them while we were on the tour, but she just had these at her house. So she gave them to me. We have this one that has the 50th and the castle. And then we have this one that has a little mini bow in the top. And then this one that has Goofy's hat. And Goofy was actually one of the only characters that I saw while I was there. Um, he was right outside the door of Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios. And then the only other character I saw the whole time was Kylo and some stormtroopers in Galaxy's Edge. I thought that was kind of weird. I expected to see more because we essentially did have two full park days, but, um, but yeah, it was cool to see Goofy. I got a little selfie with him. Um, and then the first two items that I bought were on the day of the VIP tour and that's all I got that day. And, um, they were both from Galaxy's Edge as kind of just like a reminder that I went on both of those rides for the first time. So the first one is the open edition of Batu, and then you can see the Millennium Falcon and you can kind of see Chewie there too, which is really cool. And then this was 9 dollars 
And then the other one that I got is also an open edition. On the front you have Batu, and then on the inside you have the little market. You can see Chewbacca, which I still haven't seen him at Galaxy's Edge. I really want to one day, hopefully. Then it says Black Spire Outpost on this side. And then this one was $12.99. Just how the back of these. These um pinbacks are really cool too. Okay, then I did get a map from the three parks that I went to just because I do like to do scrapbook journaling. So these will be really great for that. And then let's get into um, the first few things that I got when we went to Hollywood Studios on Friday. So our day that it was just me and Kyle. The first thing that I got is this really cute keychain of Ray's blue lightsaber. It actually lights up which is really cool. I put this on my backpack all day. You can see that it says Rey, Star Wars. So yeah, I wish this was her yellow lightsaber, but she had blue the majority of the time, so I get why they did that. But definitely wanted this because I don't really have anything of Rey besides a pop that I am gonna show you guys soon. But um, <laughs> I, uh, that's all I have of Rey. And like I said, she's one of my favorite characters. So I um, had to get that. And then this is probably, this is definitely <laughs> the biggest item that I got. It is a Disney Pandora charm. Got this in Hollywood Studios. I wanted something to remember this trip as if I could forget, but still just like a little symbolic piece for my bracelet from this trip. I hope to do that in the future like anytime I go to the parks get a charm that is symbolic of that trip itself so this one was the absolute perfect one to get it is the silver Cinderella's carriage just perfectly encompass the whole wedding um the Cinderella vibes and the dress that I was wearing I took my uh this mini backpack that was my bag for the trip so, you know, it was very Cinderella themed. And so this was absolutely perfect. Plus Cinderella is one of my absolute favorite Disney movies. So needed this in my life. It was pretty pricey, but I was on vacation and no regrets. The last little piece that I got um, is from Animal Kingdom. And it is a magnet. Like I said, Animal Kingdom is my favorite park. So I've been collecting magnets, especially Disney ones. Um, so I definitely wanted one from this trip. And since we spent a lot of our time in Animal Kingdom, I thought this one was perfect. And it is red, whatever that price uh, range is. Um, trying to figure out if I wanna put this on the fridge or on my filing cabinet, not sure yet. Next, I was in the gift shop for Tower of Terror and I saw these cool coin machines for the 50th anniversary and I was a little confused by like the pricing on it so I ended up getting um more than I expected for a larger price um so I gave one to Kyle I'm giving one to a friend and then these are the two that I kept this one has Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast which if you don't know all-time favorite Disney movie so how to get that one and then on the back it has Mickey it says Walt Disney World and it has a 50 and then the other one I got is BB-8 and it has the same back so I thought those were really cool special to the 50th anniversary and then um before I move to pins I'm gonna kind of finish with pins I think so the next thing that I got was this um, pressed penny coin collection display. I do have one from Disneyland right here, but it's pretty much full. And I actually got a lot of pressed pennies this time. It's funny because last time I went, I didn't have pennies and so I couldn't get them. And then this time I brought a bunch of pennies and a bunch of quarters and now it's different. You like pay with a card or with a bill and then they supply the penny. 
Um, so I was kind of surprised by that, but there were a lot of really good ones. Honestly, I wanted so many more, but it just didn't happen. But um, here is the front of the case. I love the holographic details on it. You have the castle and Minnie Mickey on the front, Tinkerbell. When you open it up, you have park icons like the Tree of Life, Tower of Terror, Goofy, Fireworks. And then on the back, you have Spaceship Earth and then Pluto. And then when you open it up, you have lots of space for pressed pennies. These are the ones that I got. I got Goofy. I got all eight Beauty and the Beast ones that they had. And then this one, I'll do a picture to make it better, but this one's from um, Navi River Journey. I got two Lion King ones, one with Mufasa and um, Simba, the other of Scar. And then down here, I got one at Yak and Yeti. So I hope to fill this up more the next time that I go, but this is a fantastic start. And then one of my favorite things that I got is this. It is a photo album for the 50th. The castle's on the front. You can see it's kind of holographic. It says Walt Disney World. On the back, you have the Walt and Mickey statue. On the side, it says Walt Disney World 50. When you open it up, look at the hollow. It has a bunch of 50s and the castle. And then this is how it looks on the inside. So you have two spaces for photos, the castle at the bottom, and then you have some lines to write um, little descriptions of the pictures. So what I'm going to do is print out pictures from the trip, put it in here, and then do a little scrapbooking like on the front of it. Oh, I forgot to grab that. One second. So this is kind of like a little envelope of paper tchotchkes um, from the wedding. So we have like our place card seats, the invitations in here. This was holding rose petals to um, throw out at Tom and Sophie as they walked past us. This is the little gift they gave with um, some pixie dust and then there's a guitar pick with their photo in it. Um, and then this was Kyle's ticket for the day that we went, just me and him. This was my ticket. And then we have cute little things like this was on the pressed penny binder. This was just a cute little card that I picked up at Animal Kingdom of Timon and Pumbaa. And then I have receipts and stuff too. So. I'm going to put some of that stuff in the front and back of this, kind of make it like a scrapbook and anything I don't use in here, I will put in my journal. So um, looking forward to that. And then I think we've reached the last few things that I got, which are all pins. I got them at Animal Kingdom um, as we were leaving. So this was a cute little button um disney's conservation fund hero and it was just like if you donate a dollar you get this button so definitely wanted that and then of course i couldn't go to disney world for the 50th anniversary celebration without getting a 50th pin this one is mickey and minnie which is perfect because i was there with my love and this was yellow next so because <laughs> Uncle Steve got sick on Expedition Everest. Luckily, like I said, he was okay. But after that, it became kind of a joke, like beware the Yeti, because the last time he had ridden it, he threw his back out. So like every time, he, the last two times he's ridden it, like something bad's happened. So we, after we knew he was okay, we were all kind of joking about like, oh, beware the Yeti. And so when I saw this pin, I had to get it because it was just too perfect like i laughed out loud when i saw this pin and i'm like i have to um i'm not heartless it was just uh he was the one that was making the most fun of it like after he was okay so that made me feel like it's okay <laughs> um the next pin that i got is this one it is one of the new tower of terror spinners and so on this side you have goofy in front of the elevator and it does flip to have Donald on the other side 
I'm going to display it on the side with Goofy just because, like I said, I did see him at the entrance. So, wanted to remember that. And then the last two pins I got are more on the Animal Kingdom themed side. Well, so was the Yeti one. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but I got this really cute Kite Tails pin and I know that a lot of people don't like it, but I did catch the Lion King portion of the show and I thought it was really cute. So I wanted to get this because it has Simba and it has Baloo on it and um, why not? I, I thought it was adorable. So. Um, so I got it. And then the very last pin, the very last item of this haul is a pin that I've been wanting for a while. It was part of a monthly series um, called Magical Comics. And it is, of course, Simba and Scar. And it's like a little comic book when you open it up. On this side, it says Magical Com Comics and it has um, Scrooge McDuck, Figment, Baloo, Genie, Chippendale, and Mickey Mouse, and many more. And then the comic itself says, you have a great view from up here, Uncle Scar. And then <laughs> Scar says, if you only knew. So I think that's really cute. It was $19.99 and it is a limited edition of $2,500. So that was my haul. Like I said, I did think I was going to buy more, but um, it just didn't work out that way. And I am very rich in the memories of this amazing trip. So if you made it this far, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you love Disney too. And if you are returning, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you more than you know, and I hope you all have the most magical day. Bye.